Master Plumber Licensure Exam Plumbing Arithmetic Refresher Part 9 An energy by virtue of the object's position or elevation is called B. Potential energy An energy by virtue of the object's mass is called A. Rest energy The energy of an object due to its vertical separation from the Earth's surface C. Gravitational potential energy The energy stored in a stretched or compressed elastic material such as spring is called D. Elastic potential energy The kinetic energy of the atoms and molecules due to their random motion is called A. Thermal energy What will happen to the kinetic energy of the body if its velocity is doubled? B. Quadrupled Thermal energy refers to the random kinetic energy of all in a substance. D. Atoms and molecules A vector quantity, which is a product of mass and velocity of the body. A. Momentum The product of the force and the time during which it acts is known as B. Impulse Change in momentum is equal to B. Impulse Change in energy of an object is equal to D. Work The negative ratio of the relative velocity after the collision to relative velocity before a collision of two objects D. Coefficient of restitution A collision in which the total kinetic energy after collision is less than before collision B. Inelastic When the colliding bodies stick together on impact which results the maximum possible loss of kinetic energy, it is said to be in collision. C. Perfectly inelastic Which of the following is true about collision? C. In elastic collision, no kinetic energy is lost. For perfectly elastic collision, the coefficient of restitution is equal to B. 
B1. For perfectly inelastic collision, the coefficient of restitution is equal to A0. For every action force there is a reaction force that is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction is called See Newton's third law. An object at rest or moving at constant velocity on a straight line will stay at rest or move the same speed on a straight line unless an external force acts on the object is called B. Newton's second law. An unbalanced force acting on the object will cause the object to accelerate in the direction of the force is called A. Newton's first law.